than the non-periodical media. The non-periodical media may talk about ideas and ideologies, but the regular day-to-day -day life is mainly influenced by the periodical media, like newspapers, like television, news, like satellites, etc., on the radio, etc. Therefore, for influencing the mass on a day-to-day -day basis, on a daily basis, on regular intervals, the periodical media has a better impact. Previously, a few years ago or a few decades ago, the media which was maximum used for influencing the people was the newspaper on a day-to-day -day basis. Newspaper, mainly daily newspaper, sometimes even weekly. And now the times have changed, even the television, even the satellite which gives daily news influences the people on the regular day-to-day -day activities. But even today, where the local influence is concerned of that particular country or that particular area, the newspaper is yet ahead. But where it comes to international influence, international influence, today the satellite and the television media, they have taken the lead. They are far ahead than the newspaper media. The newspaper mainly influences today on the local level. There are international newspapers in various parts of the world, but the international influence is more by the satellite because satellite has spread throughout the world. And you have news on channels like BBC, CNN, every half an hour, every hour. The topic is media and Muslims. The word Islam comes from the root word Salam, which means peace. It also means submitting your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Almighty God. In short, Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And any person who submits his will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is called as a Muslim. And I started my talk by quoting a verse from the glorious Quran, from Surah Ikra or Surah Alaq, chapter number 96, verse number 1 to 5, he says, Ikra, bismi rabbik allazi khalaq. Which means, read, recite, proclaim in the name of thy Lord who created. Who created you from a congealed clot of blood, something which clings, a leech like substance. Read in the name of thy Lord who is bountiful. Who taught men the use of the pen. Who taught men that which he knew not. The first guidance given to the whole of humanity by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the glorious Quran was not to offer salah, was not to give zakat, it was ikra, it was read. The first guidance in the glorious Quran is ikra, read. But unfortunately, the majority of the Muslims, they say la ikra, we do not do read. And our beloved Prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, it's mentioned in the hadith of al baqi that it is obligatory on every Muslim, man or woman, to acquire knowledge. It's compulsory that every Muslim, irrespective whether he's a male or a female, they should acquire knowledge. Knowledge and education has been given a very high status, a great deal of importance in the Islamic deen. But unfortunately, we find that most of us Muslims, we aren't following the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 110, He says, Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat lin nas. O ye Muslims, ye are the best of people evolved for mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us Muslims an honor. You are the khaira ummah, the best of people. Now, whenever there is honor, it is always followed up with a responsibility. There is no honor without responsibility. For example, in a school, the principal has got more honor than a teacher. A teacher has got more honor than a clerk. Similarly, a principal has got more responsibility than a teacher. A teacher has got more responsibility than a clerk. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us Muslims, Kuntum khaira ummat nukhrijat lin nas, 
ye are the best of people evolve for mankind allah is giving us an honor don't you think we have a responsibility the responsibility is said in the same verse it continues ta'muruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhauna 'anil munkar wa tu'minuna billah because we enjoin what is good and we forbid what is wrong and we believe in allah ye are the best of people evolve for mankind because you enjoin what is good and you forbid what is wrong and you believe in allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us an honor that we are the best of people because we are supposed to enjoin what is good and forbid what is wrong and believe in allah if we do not enjoin what is good and if we do not forbid what is wrong we are not fit to be called as khaira ummah we are fit to be called as muslims it is the duty of every muslim that he should enjoin what is good and forbid what is wrong that is do dawa and islah it's compulsory the moment he meets a non muslim it's his duty to present islam to him and since today in the age of science and technology where mass communication has reached very high levels it's the duty of us muslims that in order to be khaira ummah we have to be the best in communication in mass media we should be number 1 allah calls us khaira ummah because we are supposed to enjoy what is good forbid what is wrong today the world is advancing in science and technology if we have to be the khaira ummah today we have to be number 1 in mass communication but unfortunately we aren't we aren't unfortunately it's the duty of every muslim that he should do dawa he should deliver the message of islam the message of dinul haq it's compulsory but if we analyze we are far from doing our duty what allah has commanded us to do and if we analyze how much work have we done in this media we will come to know that we are in a pathetic condition let's analyze the non electronic media as i mentioned in the non electronic media we have the non periodicals like booklets books and pamphlets if we know that there are so few organizations which are involved in publishing literature presenting the correct picture of islam because today if we see around us islam is in the firing line literature on the television on the satellite we are in the firing line very few islamic organization are involved in trying to present the picture of islam to the world very few very few on the other hand we have the christian missionaries they publish pamphlets they not only present their picture they try and even malign islam to the maximum level today the western world is afraid only of islam and nothing else only of islam and you find there are pamphlets given out besides trying to promote their faith the christian trying to promote their christianity they even have pamphlets which are actually trying to undermine islam and when you go to these countries these missionaries they go to countries like pakistan muslim countries they attract the muslim masses and they distribute beautiful four color leaflets and four color posters small cards pocket cards and some samples we have in a foundation some of this foundation and if you read that small pocket card it will say allah muhammad peace be upon him and any muslim would kiss it and keep it in his pocket if it's a big poster he will take it and put it on his wall allah muhammad peace be upon him but if you analyze closely it's not allah muhammad it is allah muhabba god is love allah muhabba god is love it's actually a quotation they pick up from the bible and they write it in the arabic calligraphy i don't know we have posters of dua etc so one such beautiful poster beautiful color four color job rabbana rabbana and then you say oh rabbana then automatically in the front will come atina fid dunya hasnata fil akhirah you know it's it's mechanical the moment you read rabbana so you think oh, it's a dua four color job beautiful when i saw it the first time i thought oh the muslim world is advancing alhamdulillah muslim world is advancing beautiful and when you ask a person even who knows arabic 
He may be ulama, he may be an Arab, born Arab. Even he will read Allah Muhammad, or he may read Rabbana Atina. But if you analyze closely, it is Abbana, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come in Arabic. In Arabic. Abbana. You know, they write in such a way that it can easily be mistaken for Abbana Atina. And Muslims keep it in the drawing room and they distribute free of charge. And if we happen to sell this also, suppose if you go for Hajj, and Hajj if we sell for one one real, 99% will buy, 99.9% .9 will buy it. It's a snake in the house. It's a snake in the house. Any Arabic thing we see, we think it's a kalam of Allah Ta'ala, we kiss it and keep it. We should not cause disrespect to it. They are in the field. We should not use these techniques. These are